Hey, it's Clay at ClayTurner.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, December 7th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this would be a video for you. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one, ticker symbol MLGO. Monster, monster move today. Uh, good to see these ones start to show back up in the market. Uh, and overall, certainly one that uh, if you're not okay with volatility and, and, and quick movers, uh, then that, that's okay. I'm just saying this is not one that would be for you. But the key dynamic here, first off from at least for those of you that like to try to play pullbacks and supports. So let's map out a couple of potential areas of support. The first level that stands out to me is that breakout point right there at $6.85, so we'll change that to green to represent a support. Now, I realize that may seem like a, a pretty big dollar amount down. I mean, we're talking about multiple dollars down, but that just illustrates the whole point of, yeah, this one is very volatile. Um, so, I mean, if I were to use that one down there, now we're talking about basically $4, and I get it, the price is way up here, which sounds crazy, but that, again, that just shows how crazy of a move it actually was. So, pullback, uh, like I said, if that's what you kind of like to do, 6.85 is a pretty interesting level. And then, as far as resistances are concerned, Really, the price has already broken out of that level right there. So that's been broken. I think the easiest way to measure this now is just to kind of go up and say, okay, well, where did the momentum stop so far? And that was right up there at $10.80. So nothing complicated in terms of logic of that area of resistance other than the fact of that is where the price and the party has apparently stopped for right now. So keep an eye on 1080. But overall, any way you look at it, nice movement, uh, the, you know, nice technical patterns. Here was a nice, beautiful uh, bull pennant breakout to the upside. So maybe another bull pennant forms right here. And then it's just a question of, can the price get another break to the upside? Uh, so all those things are obviously speculation, but the, the what's not speculation is this thing's got a lot of volume and it's got a lot of volatility. So if you like those ingredients, then certainly keep an eye on it. Next one here, ticker symbol S-E-R-A. Nice looking pattern here and very nice tread line. And the reason why I call this a tread line is I think a lot of, if I could draw the tread line, there we go, is because I think a lot of people have drawn this level right there. I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to imply that's a special skill or talent. A lot of people have done that. And I emphasize that because when a lot of people are watching the same levels and wondering the same things, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic movement. So while there is no such thing, as a guarantee, is it plausible that if the price can come up to that trend line and get the break up through it, that that break in of itself could create additional buying pressure? That is certainly a plausible outcome. So keep an eye on that, especially when this one had a big mover today also. So you got to think that a lot of people are probably already watching it, which just adds to the, you know, the idea of those potential self-filling prophecies. As far as pullbacks are concerned, interesting level from a pullback standpoint, right down there around the $5 mark. So let me change that to green. And then just from an overall pattern standpoint, keep it one color. So resistance, support, big upwards move here, golf hold on there to make it a little bit more visual. So this is what we would call a bull pennant pattern. So if you like bull pennants, you like stocks down below $10, keep an eye on it. Next one here, ALT. And this will mean a little bit more of those of you that have watched past videos. But if you have, hopefully you remember me talking about that resistance line right there. You can see that late day on... Tuesday price broke above it and then today was just all the follow through. So big, big, nice move from that breakout. So for any of you that bought that breakout, congratulations. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those lines as they serve their purpose for now. Well, the newest areas of support though, is just based on a foundational rule which states when levels of resistance. So you can see right here, this area was a former area of resistance, but when they're broken, uh, you ideally wanna see them act as support. So if there is any sort of deeper pullbacks, then first key area of support would be right there around the 585 mark. And then in terms of areas of resistance, as was the case with the, the other ones, nothing fancy here in terms of logic other than the fact of asking that question, well, where did the party finally stop? And the party essentially finally stopped for the bulls right up there at 765. So nothing fancy there, but overall, very nice movement. Yeah, last 30 minutes here, not looking so good. Uh, definitely a bigger red candle here is forming, but that's only 30 minutes. When you look at multiple 30 minute sessions, you can see that overall, uh, you know, the trend is still plenty upwards. And wow, yeah, as I speak, this candle is even getting bigger and bigger. But uh, regardless, even if the price were to drop all the way down to there to 585, from a bigger picture standpoint, there would still be plenty of opportunities to build those higher bases. Next one here, PHIO, and I've already talked about it, uh, you know, generally speaking, but in terms of self-filling prophecies, you got to think this one's got some good possibility for that because this is a beautiful looking pattern. So as I draw this in here, 
as I've said, I'm not trying to impress you or imply this is a special skill. A lot of people have done this, and you got to think a lot of people are watching this pattern here, which I would call, again, just keep it the same color, make it easier to see. So resistance, support, big move there, golf will down here, another bull pennant pattern. I'd say the biggest difference is this one's a little bit cheaper. So if you like bull pennants, but you like to keep it down below $5 or $2, uh, then this one would meet that criteria. But you've already heard me give the spiel, so I'm not going to, uh, you know, just be a broken record about it other than just saying, you know, if you like stocks down below the $2, then keep an eye on this bull pennant. Next one here, AMC, and the price is currently at a very, very important spot. This level down here at 680, which I talked about, talked about previously, but so far so good. You can see the price has come down there and basically bounced off that level a couple of times. And the reason why that is so important, and I'm not saying this will occur, but just for explanation's sake, if the price were to drop down below that level, what would that be doing to the price? That would quite literally be putting the price right back to where it was. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that make huge moves up and then go right back to where they started, not exactly a sign of genuine strength or true power. So like I said, the price is not quite gone there. If the price can stay above 680, then you would still have, you know, a set of lows there, you'd have that low down there, and you would still have some stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. Uh, but overall, uh, like I said, the price is knocking on that door and you definitely wanna see it hold. If there is any sort of attempted bounce, then main areas of resistance, initially level gonna be that purple line there, 50 period moving average. And then after that, that pink line up there, the 200 period moving average. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live online class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box, or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then certainly get signed up for the free class. Next one here, ticker symbol BETS, which was an absolute train wreck yesterday. Somebody in the, the comment section, so as always, leave those comments filled me in. Uh, there was some sort of uh, offering of, of more shares, uh, which is what caused that, so that makes total sense. But now things seemingly have stabilized here, which makes for an interesting situation. And the stabilization point, right there, that pink line, which you now know is that 200 period moving average. So not totally shocking there from a technical analysis standpoint. Uh, you know, this is why this level is considered to be pretty pretty famous because, uh, you know, the price can tend to act as support a lot around that area. And that's what's happening here where you had it stabilized there and then bounce off it a couple of times. So while I wish I could say trading was this easy and say, just because the price starts to go sideways at the 200 period moving average means for sure guaranteed it's heading back upwards. If only it were that easy. My point here is that it becomes a lot more plausible at this, uh, at this point in time to say, you know, in this situation, I, I could see some sort of bounce getting ready to occur. Doesn't mean it'll happen. That's why risk management matters, but it does become a whole lot more plausible. So if you like these penny socks and these sorts of situations where you get something absolutely demolished, but then it starts to go sideways and suggest that maybe a bottom is in, then I'd certainly keep an eye on it. Next one here, NIO. Talked about this one yesterday and got the nice breakup from that tread line there. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that as it served its purpose for now. And I kind of a case of deja vu because I'm just gonna do the same thing once again, get this tread line in place. And let's see if the price wants to come up there and try to break through it uh, like it did previously. So I don't think I need to say a whole lot more there because we just had a, a, an example of it play out perfectly in terms of a lower tread line right there. Let me change that to green. And then as far as patterns, and yes, I'm going through this one quicker because you've already heard me say all this stuff before, but resistance, support, nice upwards move there, golf hole down there. We have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. Uh, so if you like bull pennants and more well-known stocks, and, and this one's kind of a cult stock, uh, which is that much better because it produces, you know, that much more uh, potential of a self-filling prophecy than I definitely keep an eye on NIO. Next one here, PLTR and another very rough day as the price continues to drop uh, lower. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this line here. And the first update is just based on a rule and chart, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So if the price does try to curl back upwards, and you know, make a move upwards off of a potential double bottom, which I'll talk about here in just a second. And that'll be where the first big question mark arises is can the price get up there? And if so, will it have enough strength to be able to push up through that area of resistance right there? Now, as far as a double bottom is concerned, I should say potential double bottom, because of course nothing's guaranteed to happen, but you do have a very realistic possibility right down there at 705. You can see that during the opening 30 minutes, price dropped down quite a bit, did find some buyers right there and then bounce actually very nicely. But then through the rest of the day, basically bled, bled, bled. And it's now getting within range of that area right there, which makes it very logical to throw out the question, okay, does the price go back down there? And can there be a double bottom? Now, if there is a double bottom, fantastic. If there's not, again, that's why risk management matters. But from a risk first reward scenario, assuming you're gonna be disciplined, of course, you could structure a very nice trade where if it doesn't go against you, okay, 
minor risk. But if it does goes, if it goes in your favor, then relative to what was being risked, you could be looking at some very nice upside potential. So if you're someone that likes to play these potential double bottoms, keep an eye on it. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And this will mean a little bit more to those of you that watched yesterday's video, but if you did, hopefully you remember me talking about that area up there as resistance at four, uh, or excuse me, 246.75, because that is right where the price essentially got rejected from right there. Uh, and it was, uh, it was a very hardcore rejection as the price is now all the way down here, which segues into the very important dynamics to watch moving forward. And that is mainly that pink line there, the 200 period moving average, which so far so good, has been doing a good job of holding that support. Uh, not not precisely, but close enough. In fact, let me do this because you can see another area that wasn't quite precise. Price did go below it a little bit right there. So yes, this has never been the perfect support, but you know there's been a lot of times where the price has you know broken down only to recover back upwards. So I'm just talking out loud here. I'm not you know saying that it will work out again. But do you wait for the price to drop down here a little bit before you try something long? It's just something to consider because every single time it's gone below there. Uh, so in other words, buying at it. What it could have resulted in getting stopped out, but if letting that you break below it, it's recovered every time, but does not mean that it'll for sure recover this time. So you still gotta be able to be disciplined and manage that risk. But the price is approaching that pink line there, which makes for a very interesting dynamic, uh, You know, as just discussed, whether you wanna try it at that level or if you wanna try something down below it. Uh, but just from an overall standpoint, what would make the chart look the healthiest is certainly the price just flat out staying above uh, those moving averages there. And again, if the price does try to curl back upwards, uh, as already discussed, that key level up there at 246.75. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So if you believe the NASDAQ market as a whole is gonna go up, this one will also go up. Uh, and just a brutal day here for the NASDAQ, what we would call a gap and trap. Price gapped all the way up there. And then from there, just basically in slow and steady bleed the rest of the day, which is now bringing the price down to that first key level of support I've talked about in past videos right there at 42.35. So that'll be the first big question mark headed into Thursday is can that level hold? Is it gonna produce a bounce? If it does not, uh, then I'm not saying the price will drop straight down to that level, but I think another you know, very realistic level that could come into play then would be down here at that area of support here at the 41.75 mark. So keep an eye on those couple of dynamics. If the price does try to curl back upwards, then key battlegrounds, initial one, that purple line there, 50 period moving average, and then next one up there, the pink line. But as of right now, a lot of mo downside momentum here in the late afternoon. So I think the more interesting dynamics is how is the price gonna behave at first off that, this area of support? And if it doesn't hold, is it gonna be headed all the way down to that level? So we're, it's, things are taking shape for a very interesting Thursday. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here and you wanna learn more about the tool, then get signed up for the free class. It'll actually be depending on when you watch this, either tomorrow or later on today if you're watching this on Thursday morning. But it'll be Thursday, December 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do a couple things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know if, had, if you have any questions and definitely go get signed up for that free class. Thanks for watching.